finally, my own table at Rayo's. I'm honored to have you here. Thank I'm you. honored to be with you. Cheers. Cheers. You. Good health. Good health. You don't know how long I've been trying to get a reservation here. I'm going to get you in here. Oh, you're Frank, in... you're such yes. a nice person. <laughs> I'm going to get you in here. So is there a waiting list to get a table here? That's years. Years. Okay, that, years. That list. <laughs> but tell okay. me about the policy here when it comes to reservations. There is really no policy anymore. About 35 years ago, Mimi Sheridan from the New York Times gave us three stars, 1977. And the phone started ringing off the hook. And I thought, oh, this will end a couple of days of this and that'll be all over, they'll forget all about it. Well, they didn't. That's when I started assigning tables. I figured out the only way I could protect those who were loyal to us and had been our good customers and our friends was by giving them tables. And ultimately, every single table, every night, is spoken for. Every table, every night has been booked since 1977. So that's 36 that's years. Every table, every night. Is there anyone who's had their table for 36 years? Oh, yeah. There are a number of people. I don't want to mention names. No, but no, of course not. Believe me, that many of them, at 30, 35 years at least, they've been my customer. No one will give up their table. Well, I can see why. Okay, and in fact, there are nights when I would like to do someone a favor because perhaps in some way I'm obligated. I have to call up my customers <laughs> and ask them if I could have their table. And sometimes I can't get it. They'll say, I can't, Frankie, I've got my, you know, my mother-in-law coming from here. I got someone flying in from California and, and I, I, I have to have the table. And, and it's Frankie, no. <laughs> and, and I can't get a table. So trust me, that's the truth. That's when you know a reservation is hard to get, when the and owner can't get When the owner can't, you know exactly right, <laughs> exactly. Here comes the food. Well, what'd you bring, Dino? The social crab stat good. We did with Michelle in the kitchen. Then we have the roasted peppers with the raisins and finoli sauce. All right. Enjoy. Thank That's you, Dino. It's perfect. Yeah. Aside from being a very famous restaurant owner, you're also an actor. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I've been doing that a long time. I started out in life as a professional singer. Okay. And I sang for 15 years. Oh, that's a long time. I figured if I could spend 15 years singing professionally, get up in front of a couple of thousand people at a time, well, I could do this. Oh, yeah. To me, it was just another facet of show business. You're still a performer. But exactly. And so, lo and behold, I started auditioning and I started landing parts. And it's been actually a very, very successful career. So I've been very fortunate <laughs> with the acting. And, and you've uh, been very busy, apparently, yeah, because uh, you've got a lot of stuff uh, going nicely, on. Nicely, and, and, and I had the honor of uh, uh, working for Scorsese. I had the honor of working for Woody Allen. I was the FBI bureau chief in uh, The Sopranos. So, the Sopranos. you know, I've had some good work with some good people, and it's been good. Let's see what happens. You have a penny marinara? We have the meatballs that Michelle helped us make. Michelle's yeah, meatballs. Have. Michelle's meatballs. They're beautiful. <laughs> we'll be making them next week on Monday when you come to work. All right, so what are we eating? The lemon chicken is famous, and it's a double broiled chicken. That's one of the most called for dishes in the restaurant. My Uncle Vincent's recipe. Being an actor takes a lot of time. Being a restaurateur takes a lot of time. How did you balance it? People don't want to hear that I'm not here. Right. Okay. However, if you tell them, well, Frankie's acting, that's cool, it's okay. Oh, okay. I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> Other than that, I'm not allowed to take a night off. But if I'm acting or I'm, you know, something like Vegas or something like that, that's okay, Frankie's allowed to do that. And so the customers understand, they accept it, they, they appreciate the fact that I do these things perhaps and there's other ways in which they could see me now and then, <laughs> but uh, that's it, and, and I've got a, I just have a great staff that makes it easy, you know, for me to do these things. If your aunt and uncle were still here, what do you think they would think about how Rayo's has grown? I think, like myself, they find it hard to believe. To think that this little place on the corner of 114th Street, Pleasant Avenue in East Harlem, if you had said to us 35 years ago, you know, Rayo someday is going to be a food company, have its own sauces. We would have giggled. We would have said, yeah, okay, You'd have been like, no sure. way. Yeah, of course, absolutely. You know, we, no, we would not have believed it. 
I still have trouble comprehending what has happened. In 2006, Rayos opened in Las Vegas at Caesars Palace. If you go to Las Vegas, you'll see we designed the restaurant. It looks just like this, much, much <laughs> bigger. The walls, the, the pictures, the tin ceiling, the Christmas decorations, the whole thing is the same. Recently, they also opened their third location in Hollywood. L.A. that we just did is twice the size of this. You would think you're here. Both have replica rooms of the original Rayos here in New York. What about the food? food is the same and the one? food is the same. We really work at our heritage, at who we really are, what we really are. That's the legacy. And I know my aunt and uncle would feel the same way. They would find it hard to believe that this has become what it has become. You can also get a taste of Rayo's with their premium pasta sauces and cookbook products. Frankie, I really feel like everything you said resonates with me because I feel like I'm at home, I feel like I'm transported to a different time, and the food is phenomenal. Well, thank you very much. Thank I you appreciate for having that. me. And it's an honor for me to have you here. Thank you. And I will get you and your husband in here. Trust me. Okay. You heard it, guys. If you're lucky enough to get a reservation here, we want to hear about it. But if not, keep in mind they have other locations in Las Vegas and Los Angeles, so check those out. We'll be back next time on Famous Foodies. For the Rayo's Famous Meatball Recipe, go to FamousFoodies.com. Make sure to follow us on social media, at Famous Foodies, for all the latest exclusive content.